Okay, I just want to show you this. Look where he's loading that club. Okay, around our spine angle. Look where he's planting it. This outside the ball. Again, this toe here, when it's parallel to the ground, when your left arm is parallel to the ground, you load it to 90 degrees, that where is flat. And this toe is anything right of the shaft rather than hanging left of the shaft over, that'd be open. Okay, just like Tiger, parallel to the ground, parallel to the target line. A little flatter on the trajectory of the driver. Left arm, so that, that face is going to match it up there. With that flatter arch, just left wrist, not bent. Flatter arch. Again, watch this coming down. We come more down here. And it is out there. A little overturn there. around front of you, you a little more down like a little more down there than just straight out there just load it up here a little bit more okay and then through impact so it's already squaring up the face put it in here if you want that'll help you hit a drop if you want to put the shaft in there the more the sh as much as the shaft's in there it's gonna hit a drop that's parallel to the ground part of the target line dead straight anything out here is gonna hit a fade you can in the piece that p6 will have fun if you want to hit just like mess around with the draw you can just bend that shaft in there 10 or 15 degrees like that um, you don't want to too much holster and boomerang draws, but uh, lean that shaft, lean the face up against your spine there, and you can hit into out little draws all day long. You really have a bunch of wrist angles there. You'd be really far forward and have some fun with it. Um, you see it's picked out there. Now when it's past parallel to the ground, it can be outside your hands. So can I come from inside out? How well do this? He turns the face down right there. Quite nice to be able to see him moving now. That's the biggest difference there. Okay, and that's the, that's like the biggest difference. That glove hand still flutter arch turning down. That just the top of the hand's breaking down and looking towards the sky there too. A little bit. Very good footwork. Again, this leading edge of the face there, like 85 or 90 degrees squared down already, rather than kind of just out here to make you know 65 or 70. It's not quite square enough yet. A little late with that release. Get a bunch of wrist angles. Then when you release the club, a lot of break and drill stop in there. That's where you release. It. See that? Is it straight up and down? You hasn't gotten straight up and down yet when it's parallel to the ground there. See that? See that front wrist? Front wrist too. But our arch almost looking that way already. He's counterbalancing that uh, face there. Then he gets over here. Just like those guys. Coming back to the ball again. As right against his shoulder tilt though. This is as much as he can do it. See that? He can't hit this club face any more square than any more close than that, although he's trying. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, he hits a dead straight. He's a little stronger grip, so it's gonna come out a little bit more bent than, than you. Even even that one's not bad for him. He's kinda some of these guys too, when you see if you see more of the glove logo, they're trying to release it and kind of keep the club face open in a sense. Um, even though he's doing a pretty good job of turning it down there. I just would like I would prefer it look like a little more like Colin and some of those other other guys and Justin with and drawn around with that flat wrist there. Um and Jin Young Co rather than just like a little broken down there. But you can see that how that release can work a little bit differently. Around that side too. Okay. A little more shoulder tilt. You counterbalance that perfect the release of the club face. You got this you're close on the shoulder tilt, now just turn that club face down a little bit more and you're gonna have it. As you stay in the shoulder tilt, stay in the spine angle all the way to the finish. He's kind of hitting a little fader on that corner, too. Okay. Okay, there, just a little bit more. That pelvis and chest is fully released. All right, I think we got to everything. <laughs>